What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode here of Outdoor Sensei. I know it's been a really long time, but it's about time that we get back out on the ice and today we are on the bay trying to get on some perch or just fish in general. Hopefully we get some fish, so stay tuned if you guys haven't yet. Make sure you head down there, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, so what we're using today... Looks like there's a train going. Got some red spikes right here. The gold tungsten. This is the acne. The one that's got those little dimples on there. That one's been working out really good for me last year. So I had to pick some up this year. There we go. Look at that perch right there. Check that out you guys. There is more down there. So we gotta get down there really quick. Not the biggest. This one's kind of small. Don't let that one go. Still, still see some fish down there. Oh, it's bent. Puny. <laughs> little guy right here. Look at that little tiny one. Ooh, there's a big one down there. I saw a big old mark. I'm trying to get down there as fast as I can because right now there's definitely a school. Fish. There we go. A decent one here. Save that for the frying pan. <sighs> and the bite's been kind of slow. Ever since like 9.30ish, it kind of died down. There we go. Oh, finally! Got one! Alright you guys, so we are in the kitchen now. I'm going to start cleaning up the fish and we're going to start frying. Um, we caught a lot of fish today, but I didn't keep a lot because they're all really tiny. So I kept the ones that are eh, decent. They're not the biggest, but man, they were the best one that we caught today. And I, there's there's an abundant of perch there. They're just not big. But anyways, we're gonna start uh, the cleaning and start cooking. So stay tuned, you guys, and let's get to it. All right, so we just got done rinsing the fish. Now we're just gonna scale them. You know, we're not gonna fillet them. They're kinda too small to fillet, man. I don't know if we're gonna get anything from it. So my plan is to scale them and then deep fry. Oh, should be good. Pretty much just use a fork and just 
scrape against the scale and then they will just come off. So the reason why I'm putting them under the water just like this so that the scale won't go flying everywhere. And just like that you guys, there's no more scale. So yeah, we're just gonna do that to the rest of them and then we'll be right back. All right, you guys, we just got done cleaning the fish and I didn't want to show you the whole process because I feel like this was going to be a video that is just waiting to get flagged. But pretty much all I did was cut off the head and then just took out all the guts. All right, you guys, so I'm not really sure what I want to do. I think we're just going to do something simple here. Just a little bit of sea salt. on both sides uh, let's add a little bit of I'm just going on the fly here you guys got a little obey seasoning give it a little spice There you go. So we're just gonna do that, something easy and simple. And now we're just gonna start frying. All right, so while that is heating up, we are going to be putting some peanut oil right here. This is what we're using. Highly, highly recommend always using peanut oil when you're frying or deep frying. Peanut oil is really good for um, High temp cooking in high temps. Unless you're aller allergic to uh, pita, then you don't want to use it. But anyways, now we're just gonna wait for the oil to heat up, and then we're gonna start the frying. All right, so this oil should be ready. Alright you guys, I think the fish is ready man. Nice and brown, I'm sure it's super crispy. Alright you guys, so we are finally done cooking. And man, they, do they look crispy. Check that out. Here we go. Mmm. That's good bones and everything that's how crunchy it is mmm that is really good all right I'm gonna save the rest for Eli so he can eat these crispy fish because he's been asking for crispy fish so if you guys like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, that will help out the channel a lot. And also you guys, I forgot to mention while I was out on the water, or on the ice I should say, today I was using the Colony Monster Custom Rod. If you guys want to check them out, make sure you check out the link down below. Um, the guy makes a really cool rod, uh, he can customize it for you, whatever you want. Just make sure you contact them, and I'll leave the link down below, and I'll see you guys next time.